have women security or safety is essential and crucial part of the society because uh, we are living in an independent country and if the women are not safe here so you know this is a stigma on us that women women are not safe here so we have to be very careful we have to be very cautious that we should you know uh, we have, we should provide some uh, some ambience to women as well so that they can feel comfortable that they get can you introduce yourself absolutely i would be more than happy to introduce myself ma'am first of all mm-hmm. thanks to have me here on this call with you well my name is lalit kumar and i am from uttar pradesh i originally come all the way from bulansar district it's mm-hmm. been seven years i have been working in private organizations and mm-hmm. about, about my qualification so i did my graduation in pharmacy and my core mm-hmm. of interest in i like to talk with the people and i like to do adventurous activities i sometimes i read books as well and sometimes i watch hollywood movies as well so this is all about me thank you pony like you have done pharmacy and yeah. i have i heard a new like uh, there are so many chemist shop nowadays it is mandatory yes. you have done pharmacy course after that you can open yes. your shop is, is it uh, this information is true yes absolutely this is com- completely true and this is completely exact that if someone wants to run a business so he must mm. have or she must have a pharmacy degree but yes. still in india you know we are only we are we we all are on the jugad all jugad all way so <laughs> yes <laughs> so in india the situation is still same even those uh, those people are running medical stores they do not have any medical degree they are just hiring the people Mm. on the shop and even what the what they are doing mostly they are just you know gathering the license to run a medical store and apart from that they don't need any you know any pharmacist on that particular medical store but nowadays i think rules are very strict they are hiring that guy who has done pharmacy course yes absolutely absolutely so i also used to work Uh, like a pharmacist mm. as uh, as mm. i have told you i think on our, mm. our previous call so no it is you never done. have you never told me that you have done this course <laughs> okay, okay 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 sorry for that sorry it it was my bad okay now mm. i have told you that i i mm. I, i have done my graduation in pharmacy mm. after doing this course like uh, there are so many opportunities in future what do you think Yes, after doing this course, thousands of opportunities are there. But in India, I would say, you know, people doesn't matter how much degree or how many degrees do you have. But the thing is that how much, you know, how many acquaintances you have in big organizations, then you can mm. get better job. So if I talk about myself, so I started my job from zero, from scratch only, and I had to mm. face lot of cumbersome to get the job as well, and even. uh i had to attend lot of interview to get to get to got to know that uh, what mm. is asked in in the interview hmm yes. yes so there is a topic what do you think uh, regarding women safety what's <laughs> your opinion absolutely yeah women security or safety is essential and crucial part of the society because uh, we are living in an independent country and if the women are not safe here so you know this is a stigma on us that women mm. women are not safe here so we have mm. to be very careful we have to be very cautious that we should you know uh, we ha- we should provide some uh, some ambience to women as well so that they can feel comfortable that they can feel you know secure safe and secure mm. so first i like, would like to know some suggestions hmm. from your side on yes, this yes yes like there are some women who are working in call centers and they are doing their jobs like some trainee doctors some trained person who are working like uh, hospitals some other organization and they are working late night yes absolutely even nowadays like uh, women are working in night shift as well hmm in call center they are providing uh, like cab services yes they are safe but after that there are so many you know incident we are hearing day by day yes absolutely ma'am absolutely so what do you think so, about paper spray they are also carrying a paper spray 
so this you is also a good it, idea you know but i think it's not a very good idea <laughs> no as per uh, you know it depends on the person's ability what he can do or she can do when he is in trouble or she is in trouble so if we are talking about particularly about the lady so i would say you know pepper pepper spray is also a good option like if you are not able to fight and if you are not able to do any karate or something like that you cannot mm-hmm. do any other thing so in that particular case the pepper spray is good because you can just spray that mm-hmm. uh, that uh, that bottle uh, like a mm-hmm. perfume and you can save mm-hmm. yourself you can secure and mm-hmm. you know you can mm-hmm. save yourself so this is also a good uh, kind of product and that is why it was made because mm. it's it uh, there was need of this product so mm. but you think like, women should okay carry on carry on you were saying something okay yeah what usually it happens uh, i have never seen pepper spray uh, like if if someone is carrying this spray i have never seen this spray mm yes that's why i am asking because in the videos we are watching okay they are using pepper spray but when we talk about real life nobody is using this yes. pepper spray yes okay. absolutely yes so do you think women should take some like uh, judo karate practice some other things they should do yes for Now, their safety earlier, yes it should earlier, be compulsory in the like school that. it should be yes. compulsory in the school yes absolutely ma'am earlier it was not like that the teachers were not teaching that thing in the college or in the school as well but nowadays many things has been introduced and what the people are doing now these days they are you know pushing their kids or children to the sh- in the school to learn something like in the self defense so mm. some pe- some schools are providing some kind of judo or karate mm. or kind of martial these arts. activities mm. yes mm. martial art ka- martial art kind of activities and even in like i would say in cities this already have been implemented this already has been implemented and uh, i would say this is also a good option they like you know if someone is fighting with me so i should know something to protect myself to defend that situation mm. like if someone is fighting mm. me fighting with me and if i know judo karate or martial art so i can you know i can defeat that person Mm. and in the in the manner of women i would say it is must to give uh, them you know such uh, knowledge or such education or such training so that they can protect herself in the in the manner of or in the situation of obstacle or problem mm. you know in some schools they have uh, keep a letter box type box where you can put your you know complaints regarding male staff mm-hmm. in some school yes, in my yes. daughter's school they are providing this kind of facility if some male staff is harassing you you can directly write a letter and you can post in that box yes ma'am yes 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 it is yes. been done it is been done absolutely most of the colleges are running these things but uh, still the people are not much aware i would say yes they are not aware and second thing like there are uh, like a group of uh, women who are working late night so what should we implement in our office how can we protect these ladies nowadays i have seen one thing that uh, you know many harassment kind of training is being run by the companies as well even in yes. which company i am working so there is a harassment training like if you are finding that you are any easy with any manager or any manager or any co learner or co worker is misbe- is misbehaving with mm-hmm. you so you can you know file mm. a complaint about that person against mm. that person and he would be definitely caught on that particular situation then it would be investigated by the proper panel and then if you are find that you if you are finding if you would be you know found that you made a mistake and you harassed any girls and then you would be punished so the mm. the process is like that in some organization but in not in every organization Mm. what should uh, what uh, what's your opinion regarding surveillance camera oh it it's very fantastic idea to save the you know to save and to, to save the women as well because in foreign countries uh, the all the cities are under the surveillance mm. so mm. i would say the crime in foreign countries are lesser than india mm. because in mm. india not india are, asian you know, countries 
not india yes um, asian countries yes yes there are asian high number of countries. you know corruption high number of corruption in the asian countries yes so uh, so we can you know save ourselves we can save our women mm-hmm. as well because this is not only about you this is only about you know this is all about our family all about mm-hmm. our our people of india so and if we are doing something like that 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 can help the people uh, to save him or her so it would be the great action and the surveillance is one of the most greatest option even because of surveillance like uh, on on highways what the government is doing the government is getting the camera installed to cut the chalan if someone is over speeding mm. so in mm. the same manner we can utilize all the surveillance to protect the you know safe and secure guard for a for a woman as well but you know in the offices hospitals i think there are few number of surveillance camera who are working properly <laughs> yes <laughs> the situation is very worse in india i would not say that it is very fantastic because you know what we are doing uh, in the i would not say i shouldn't say like this here but uh, i cannot help it uh, myself in that so what is being done the government is you know bringing the policy when mm. it comes to execution that policy it executed but you know the maintenance of that policy is not being done so the yes. situation is that yeah if the maintenance mm. is being done on the regular basis then everything would work fine but you know you can see the road condition you can see mm. the highways condition you can see the mm. buses condition in india mm. you can even you can see the trains condition like i do not even have any topic or any uh, pathetic any, you know, condition very yeah. pathetic condition <laughs> yes yeah very pathetic condition it is so and if in someone sector, like uh, what uh, what is your suggestion if like a girl is going from uh, like uh, auto rickshaw in the night okay yes, yes, so yes. what would your suggestion towards that girl if she is okay, alone okay so okay if she is alone that uh, she should be very you know careful first because we cannot mm. know the intention of other people some people you mm. would find that they are very generous they are very benevolent even if you mm. are in travel they would leave you at your home but some people mm. uh, you would find very clever very you know mm. different kind of personality like a gangster so i would suggest like if you if someone is going outside of home overnight or sorry it late night so mm. she should be avoid first mm. and if it is necessary so in that particular case uh, they can book a cab at least they they have the id of that particular person if if if, if there is any mish but you know i have personally seen like the cab driver want their benefit so they are so, uh, saying ma'am please uh, cancel this ride i will drop you uh, <laughs> at your location but you cancel this uh, ride and after that you can pay this money sometimes they are doing these kind of things yes absolutely it is also being done ma'am i also yes. have noticed this thing yes so i think yes. we should never done this we should always book that cab and never should cancel the behalf of that person because that yes, kind absolutely. of person you know can do any crime and i think we should wrap up this call now because i have another week another fish to fry okay so okay we'll so it was a lovely conversation with you it was a lovely conversation with it you it was very productive conversation i would say Yes. Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day. And thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay.